Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. It is a hazy, milky sunset occurring across green country as we continue to track smoke across the area. This is a live view right now. Dave's Claremore RV Weather Camera Network. We see that haze and smoke moving across the metro region. Yeah, that's going to continue. Unfortunately, for the next 24 hours as we track the smoke on our smoke tracker. This is it overnight tonight. You can see the smoke and haze uh, still sticking around northeast Oklahoma into our early Saturday morning. The thicker smoke where those yellows are is going to be out west. So we'll see a little less hazy sunshine, but still not a clear blue sky across the area all the way through our weekend. So areas of smoke for your Saturday into Sunday with afternoon highs. Warm, lower 80s, pretty close to normal. The nights, though, they're going to be amazing. Right now we're at 78, dew point 57, so the air is pretty dry. So when you have dry air like this, the nights tend to cool off quite nicely. So if you're coming outside this evening, you might need a light jacket as that sun sets. The temperatures will cool back down to 60s and then down into the 50s overnight tonight, 7 a.m. Tulsa coming in at 55, Bartlesville 52, Prior 55, Grove and Rogers in the lower 50s. And we're getting close to those upper 40s. I don't think we're going to make it there tomorrow, but wait till you see the extended. We just might uh, by the middle of next week. Uh, we'll talk, or I should say Sunday morning. As we look at Saturday afternoon, 5 o'clock, Tim Stoltz at 81, Prior at 80, McAllister at 79, Stigler at 77, and Tahlequah 79. So Tulsa on Sunday morning is going to be about 54. Outline areas could drop down close to 49. I hope we see it. Just to get a little chill in there. Uh, temperatures cool for Sunday morning. 80 Sunday afternoon, 81 on Monday. Temperatures feeling great for the first day of fall. A little bit of a southeasterly breeze, 79. And then the lows stick in the 50s pretty much through the next 10 days. I know next Sunday morning will be a little warmer. That's an anticipation of a cool front arriving. Maybe a few more clouds keeping temps up. And then it looks like around the October 1st uh, that we'll start to see a more significant front arrive. And that one could bring lows into the 30s if that comes to fruition by the 1st of October. We'll be watching that very closely. But if you're coming outside this evening, I do want to mention that the air quality is in the moderate category. So if you have um, uh, some issues, health issues, you might want to take some caution if you're going to be outside for a prolonged period of time this evening.